Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Um, this is just a quick little video I'm just spinning out because um, yesterday Leon Cameron announced his retirement um, from the GWS Giants. He's been coaching there for eight years and it's been a wild eight years so I thought I'd recap him back um, a bit. And um, is this the end of the GWS Giants? Okay, so Leon Cameron, eight years in at the head coach of the GWS Giants. They've been a pretty successful ones. He's made, in those history, he's made four finals and winning a final in each of those um, Septembers. And then their biggest achievement, also making it to the grand final in 2019, a record loss to the Richmond Tigers. I think also another reason he got sacked was because just how much little success he had with such a successful team. Um, let's, let's go back to 2012. Um, this is the last year that teams were introduced to the AFL when the two teams were were arguably the least popular teams in history, the Gold Coast Suns and the Greater Western Sydney Giants. So, we start in 2012. They finished 18, had a total of two wins and 20 losses. Um, and, of course, the coach was Kevin Sheedy. Coming to 2013, um, they finished 18th again, one win, 21 losses, um, and yeah, that was pretty much the end of Kevin Sheedy at the GWS Football Club. Two seasons of a total of three wins um, and 41 losses. That's not good for me, old Sheedsa. 2014 was the first time GWS kind of had a little bit of success. They came 16, six wins, 16 losses. Um, and it was the first time that Leon Cameron became the coach. And we head straight on to 2015, where they got out of the bottom four and um, got all the way up to 11th, which is not too bad for the old Giants. They had 11 wins, 11 losses. Uh, 2016 is where I believe the GWS, or even by records, GWS just shot up into a really good team. We had such good young, great young players. Um, of course, Toby Green, Phil Davis was playing great. Um, Jezza, Jeremy Cameron was there. Um, uh, the Mummy, everyone was there. And they just felt like that the, it's, kind, it's finally clicked for the Giants. And them finishing fourth with 16 wins, six losses. And they lost the prelim. First time they've ever made finals and they made it to the prelim. It's definitely not a bad start for them. In 2017, they came fourth again. 14 wins, six losses. But this time, it's the first time GWS have ever drew a game with twice. And again, they lost in the prelim. Welcome to 2018. It's a bit down than usual. Seventh, just made it in. 13 losses. No, 13 wins, 8 losses, 1 draw. But they lost the semi-final. First time they've got out to the semi-final. And then, of course, 2019 rolled around. And just before we start with 2019... This is the year that Jeremy Cameron kicked 67 goals in the home and away season to absolutely smash the Coleman medal out. So GWS is coming in pretty hot. But last year it was a Collingwood West Coast Premiership. But the year before that, the Tigers won. The Tigers have been in red hot form leading up to this grand final. And let's just say it was the worst grand final I've ever seen in my life. They lost by 100 points. You can't be doing that in a grand final. Like, seriously, mate. you got to make a bit more of an effort. And I feel like that's the last bit of success we're going to see from the Giants from this decade, I think. I don't think they're coming back this year. And the fact that Leon Cameron is gone is not making it any easier on them. If we look at GWS's um, 2022 stats, the Toby Green has come back with some... I'd say pretty average form, um, and that's not great to start the season off with two wins and um, seven losses. They're not making finals this year, and they got a really tough game coming up, GWS versus Carlton, but we'll see how it all goes. Um, I don't think the pain stops for it any time soon because they're going to have to face Brisbane, Collingwood, Hawthorne. It's, the, I, it's definitely the end of GWS, and... That's just some reasons why. So thanks everyone for watching. Um, and um, yeah, see you later.